Robert. Yo, it's shaking AC. <laughs> shake and bake. Shake and bake. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hey, so super awesome to see you at the uh, the the CFA's virtual franchise Canada show today. Yeah. How cool I was is that? On- Oh my gosh, I was on it all day and it was so cool. They, they had this awesome platform that really lended itself well for virtual trade shows. I didn't know something like that existed. And it was fantastic. I love the CFA. They always come up with brilliant stuff. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. And like I said, I love the CFA. I need to get involved with them somehow. I was I thinking know. you should join a committee, like maybe the convention <laughs> committee. Can you imagine me on the convention committee? Every convention would, be, would have this big ice sculpture of a duck in the middle of it. <laughs> Why a duck? I don't know. Just ducks are cool. Okay. What about a cow or something like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, that would be utterly amusing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't line that up at all. I, I can keep milking those all day. Let me tell oh, you. Oh, my gosh. got to stop. Okay. So here's the thing. Technology. One of Technology. The, yeah. One of the biggest pain points I find franchise franchisors have um, next to trying to find the right franchisees and all, you know, supporting them, but then like what technology they need in their business and to, to use. And I always say that, you know, there's typically there's not one size fits all here. Just go get this one product. You know, there's going to be a bunch. So when people are, are trying to figure out what technology to use, You know, I know you guys are really process driven at Control V and I know that you guys have some really cool process for process. Processes. Should we cut this or keep going? Uh, going. (laughs) Okay. Um, So processes for vetting, finding and vetting uh, vendors. See, vetting vendors. That's why I was, I was (laughs) having trouble. So, and it is Thursday. So it is Thursday's like, I mean, Thursday's the next day before Friday, right? Yeah. Actually it's Wednesday. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. So what is your process? What do you guys do when you're like, we want to get this new technology and you don't want to just jump fully in until you figure out what's right. So. Well, back in the day, before I became a finance guy, I used to be an ops guy and did a lot of vending of of software and systems. And generally, I've kind of distilled it down to sort of five steps. um, And I kind of carry that with me wherever we go to Control V or or you name it. So um, are you ready for these? I would love to hear it. I'm sure that our- Earth shattering. Gigantic audience is yes. waiting on the edge of their seats. What does Robert Brisky, franchisor of Control V, do when it comes to vetting technology? Especially because everybody thinks of you as like this tech person because you have VR. That's technology, as far as I know. So people. Yeah, I mean, like I that's that's a whole other rant. Like we're not that's a tech company. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So step one, first thing that we always do is we analyze our processes. What we do, right? Um, you know, human resources, processes, booking, all that sort of stuff, um, and kind of what we want to do. So we can understand whether we're being inefficient, and what steps we need to get to be efficient. We try to understand. Uh, get a grip of what's going to happen in the future. So when we go further down the path, we're not just deciding on what we need right now. Like everything, like integrations. Okay. We need a booking software. Does that, is that going to somehow integrate with like a payroll system? Does it have to integrate with, you know, something else? I don't know what, like just you, you look at your whole like web of how everything works together in your company and where you want to be. Which is hence the reason why it's such a big deal technology. So step number two, Step number two, um, we do a needs assessment of what we need to get to that next step into the future, right? Okay, so right now, our processes are people need to come in here and they need to get everything done in 10 minutes. We need it, we want to reach three minutes. And how how can we do that? Well, we need to be able to cut this out. We need to be short in this time. Maybe in the future, we're going to have 500 locations. So is our stuff going to be scalable? You know, it's, it's really the, the whole gamut about what your needs are for the future. So you're really assessing at that point, what problem are we trying to solve with this software right now? And what problem, what problems might we be trying to solve in the future with this, with this software? Exactly. 
Cool. Okay. Three. Okay. Number three. Um, Now it's time to start hunting for options. There's so many ways to hunt for these options. Um, I mean, you could look within your own industry. Like if you're in VR, if you're in food, quick service restaurants, you can look, look with, sorry, what did you say? I just kept saying fitness because there's so many fitness businesses out there. Fitness, fitness. Anyway. Yeah. Fitness. um, You could look within, within, like ecosystems, like within the franchise ecosystem, you can look within the business ecosystem, you can look nationally, you can look internationally, you could sit there and go through the first 40 pages of Google if you want. <laughs> like there's so yeah, many places. Really good use of time, okay. <laughs> I, would go, I would personally recommend going straight to the other people, other franchise experts, like maybe similar businesses that aren't direct comp- uh, competition start asking around, you know, just to streamline things. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're thorough. I get it. Okay. Step four. Mm-hmm. Step four is we start to vet the company. Okay. So, um, th- you know, what sort of reviews do they have? Um, what have people said about them? Do they sort of match our core values? Are they too young with maybe no potential that they'll be around in too long? Are they, are they too old and so that their mind frame is really archaic and they're using old systems and, and things like that? Um, like I said, references. And we even start vetting their, their software a bit, you know, like does it have these features and these features that we're looking for on a very like 30,000 foot scale? Yeah, like if you're talking to other people that use that software and to say, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What would you change about it? Those kinds of things, right? Yeah. Okay. So step five, bring it on, brother. Uh, Step five, this is the most laborious one and can take weeks and months even depending on what kind of software you're getting. And that's, that's trialing it. Okay. If, If you're doing something that costs like 20 bucks a month, yeah, sure. Buy the trial fiddle around with it, whatever, right? But if you're spending hundreds or thousands of dollars a month, this is a big expense. So you wanna trial the software and you wanna test everything. Like I'm, like I'm talking even the things that you would think is ridiculous. Can I open two windows at once? You'd think that's obvious, right? But mm-hmm. maybe you can't. Maybe they've designed it so it's always full screen and you don't wanna be caught off guard, you know? Mm-hmm. You, how it all works, saving, opening, all that sort of stuff, and you kind of start checking off whether it meets what you're looking for. Yeah, and then, yeah. just jumping in real, real quick there, I've, I've had people uh, sign up for a software product where they had to get into a contract or something like that without doing that. And uh, one example is a client who, the software, the, the videos that they were putting on the software for training needed to be downloaded onto the person's computer. And the nature of the business was that these videos were not videos that should be downloaded. Now this is gonna sound really mysterious, but um, anyway, so the, but either way, this proprietary, right? You don't, want, you don't want trainees downloading your content onto their computer. You want it to stay, I think, usually probably in the hub. So that would be an example where if they had thought to vet that and, and test that in the trial, they would have found that out and not had to have gone through setting it up and getting it and then- That's kind of right. And, 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 if you, and if it doesn't do something that you want, you go to them and say, here's my wish list of 20 things. You can yeah. do five of them. What's going on with the other 15? Show me this, demo this to me. I'm gonna drill you. I wanna know everything about it because we're getting into a relationship here. It's just like a franchise. It's just yeah. Like a franchise. Not quite as much, but because you're not spending usually that much money, but maybe on the big ones. So, okay, so five steps. So analyze the current processes, um, determine what your needs are, like a needs assessment so that you're, you're sure on what you're trying to solve now and in the future, uh, gathering uh, the names, vetting the, the company and trying to vet the software before you use it a little bit, and then actually trialing and vetting the software and seeing if it's good and really getting deep into that. How'd we do? Awesome, let's rock and roll. Ready? One, two, two, three. Go be awesome. Go be awesome.